quite uh, very adapted to their local conditions. Uh, livelihood diversification is also one important pillar and one important strategy when we are talking about uh, uh, smallholder farmers and when we are talking about uh, uh, climate uh, resilient sustainable agriculture and how to deal with climate. Mixed cropping, multi-cropping, can reduce the risk of crop failure because you are going to plant in the same place several uh, plants and it's a guarantee that if one failure you can harvest the water. Uh, there are some combination of plants that you can use uh, and because they, let's say, they like each other, they like to be with each other, one can improve the productivity of the other and you can have more yield per acre, hectare or acre. Uh, and also, if you have uh, several plants, you can increase uh, uh, the household income because you can produce several plants and can sell part of it. And we can improve the, 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 your, uh, your uh, balance or dietary balance and nutrition. Uh, not eat only rice and rice or wheat and wheat, but uh, you can have several different uh, uh, plants that you can eat or things that you can eat and improve your nutrition. Agroforest is also key when we are talking about climate change. Um, trees can go deep on the soil and can work as a pump bringing nutrients from underground to the surface. Um, trees also can be used as a green manure. Uh, trees can protect the soil, can reduce the speed, uh, the impact of drops of water in the rain. Uh, there are many things that trees can, can help us. Uh, there, uh, to, uh, trees can help us in many uh, uh, things. Um, <coughs> it also can increase the diversity of li uh, household income. You, you can use uh, well, fruit trees to improve your soil, but also to improve your income and to improve access to food and all things. Uh, you can also use uh, trees as a windbreak uh, to protect the soil against the wind. Uh, but there are uh, also uh, many other things that you can do to improve livelihood, like beekeeping, aquaculture, and lots of different alternatives that farmers are using already. It's also important to look for ways to better integrate crops and livestock. It is important because uh, we need the manure that cows and other animals can provide to us, and also uh, since animals are quite import for, uh, important for smallholder farmers, we need to improve the amount of food that we can produce inside our farm uh, to be able to ensure that they are going to have uh, uh, the right uh, uh, nutrition that they need. Uh, it's also important to increase the amount of food that we are producing, amount of food, the food to feed animals. Uh, because if we have uh, enough food, we can save or we can keep animals uh, out of some of our fields and you can s save some of the organic materials to feed the soil. And to produce more fodder is important to have more materials to feed the soil. Processing and marketing and market access is also uh, central when we are talking about smallholder farmers. Uh, uh, usually they say, smallholder farmers in general, they say it's quite easy to produce, it's quite difficult to sell, and this is a reality in many places of the world. And then uh, it's important to think about building decentralized units, uh, processing units, to allow farmers, men and women, to uh, process their products 
and to diversify the income. Uh, but processing is also important to increase the quality of the products that they are producing uh, uh, and to enhance the time that uh, the smallholder farmers' products can, can, can be preserved. And then it is important in the context of uh, uh, climate change to have some stocks uh, of food. Processing can help them to increase the amount of, uh, 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 the, the, to enhance the, the time that they can preserve their products. Uh, it's also important to have, uh, 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 to enhance the time. If you are planning to have access to market, uh, is, uh, these kind of things are, are also important. Uh, the whole discussion of value addition, processing, by processing you can uh, uh, increase the value of your products. And we are not talking about food products, we are talking about food and non-food products. S there are several non-food products that are quite uh, 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 central for the smallholder farmers' economy, like uh, uh, fiber, uh, um, charcoal in many cases, uh, uh, timber, uh, handcrafts, and uh, many things that farmers can do and can do together. Uh, to increase their uh, uh, income and, and processing your market and market assessors can help them to increase uh, 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 to facilitate the access to market. The whole idea about the reduce the distance among consumers, uh, producers and consumers, uh, it's easy to say, it's difficult to do, but there are many examples of farmers, organizations that manage to reduce the distance between uh, uh, co producers and consumers. It can improve uh, the income and also it can, can ensure th that they are not going to be exploited by, uh, by the value chain, by middlemen and, uh, and these kind of things. Um, <coughs> Uh, it's also important to explore uh, other possibilities of market. We are talking here about local market, but also regional, national market, and institutional market. And it's important to explore uh, many other possibilities like uh, public procurement and institutional market. And the whole discussion of marketing, uh, processing and marketing, it's, it's important uh, uh, to, 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 to think uh, in the, the, the whole issue of processing and access to market, that uh, the, the gov local government, uh, regional government, the national government, a uh, lot of things to play on these issues. And then we always need to look for uh, public policies or to work on design and implementation of pu public, public policy that can help us to uh, uh, facilitate the access to market. Another thing that is related with every six pillars that we discussed before is the issue of support farmers, women and men organization. We are talking about the importance to develop at local level some uh, uh, alternatives and to test it and to implement it. But w we are not proposing to work at community level to solve only or to help uh, only one community to solve their own problems. We, what we are proposing here is a process of discussion with the community, identification of problems, identification of best practice, implement it. But we want to use it as a starting point to design public, public policies that can help us to deal with climate change and can help us to build a more sustainable agriculture. And then the idea here is not that action aid is going to substitute the government, but uh, I, the idea here is that we need to support and to facilitate the process to have good examples that can be used as a starting point for, uh, for building public policies. And then the whole discussion about su uh, uh, support and, and facilitate the organization of uh, associations, collectives, self-help groups, and cooperatives, unions, and land movement, and to work with 
these movements uh, in, the, in, in a such a way that we can help them to strengthen their capacity to influence on this process of design and implementation of public policies. Uh, there is no agriculture in the world that can survive without uh, 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 support. And we need to increase our capacity to influence on this process of implementation of public policies. And we can use our alternatives, the alternatives that farmers are developing. And then we are not proposing it as a model because uh, many of the alternatives that we need to cope with climate change, they are site specific. They depend of the culture, social, economical, environment situation that generated or created. And many of them cannot be uh, uh, used as a model to other communities, but they can be used as a starting point, as a font of inspiration. The whole discussion about sustainable agriculture is not new for Action Aid and is not new for farmers that we work with. Uh, Action Aid has been supporting process like that in several places for many years. Uh, what we are trying to do with this climate resilient sustainable agriculture uh, initiative is to put everything that we are doing together uh, and to design a really a, a process that can help us to connect what we are doing at local level with uh, the process of designing public policies and implement public policies at national level.